in today's video a gluing hack Welcome to my workshop. In today's video, an easy way to glue your brass tubes. The materials I'm going to use once again a piece of offcut from an IKEA cutting board. Uh, an update on the cost it's gone up from 2 euro to 2 euro 50 a board. Still worth it. And I'm going to use a stainless steel straw. In just a few easy steps, I'll show you how to glue a brass tube. The, the example I'm going to use is a slimline brass tube, and you can apply it to any of the other tubes. Now, the, the stainless steel straw, this is nice and solid. A bit heavy on the teeth, I wouldn't really use it for the straw, but it's a handy tool in the workshop. So what I've gone and done, I've cut just a few little grooves with a mini hacksaw just to give it the ability to cut into the cutting board. I've done the same with this. I'm going to use this to trim with. I have already prepared the two, let's call it nylon gluing sticks. So the first one fits into the brass tube and it's quite a tight fit. This I'll use to actually push the tube into the blank, like this. Push it into the blank. It will go past on the other side. You grip it and then pull back and position it. The other, the other glue stick has got a bit of a taper on top. So you will apply your glue in your blank. Now this it's got play. So as you push the glue into the blank, it will actually apply the glue to the sides because of the taper. And once you've got the glue on the inside, you use this to push. Now, the reason why it's a tight fit, you don't want the glue to go into your tube. So once you've glued that, you push your brass tube in, and passed. Grip it on the side, pull it back, position it. And then your tube should be clean inside. So that's an easy method to actually glue your brass tubes. Otherwise it gets very messy. So to prepare these two glue sticks, well they're made from the cutting board and glue won't stick to it. And as soon as you've used it you can just clean it off with all-purpose lacquer thinners and that should be good to go for the next gluing session. Using this you're going to minimize the waste of glue. So what I use is a cheap epoxy, a two-part epoxy and you've got about six minutes to work with and then it, it sets. Now I've been using this since I've started making pens and I've never had a pen failure on the lathe. So this is very reliable and with, with one of these in the old method I glued about I think 27 pens and I reckon with this, this new method um, I'm even going to save a lot more. So let me show you how I prepared these two. Let's call this a hole saw and the, the brass tube, call this uh, a trimmer and let me show you exactly how I did that. The first step, you take your piece of offcut cutting board. The thickness of this cutting board is exactly 8 millimeters. Your straw or your hole saw is just under 8mm. 
so it's 7.92 millimeters actually I ideal thickness for when you drill into the side to get started with your drilling you need to do a pilot hole and I'm using a 7.62 drill bit so you you cut a few pilot holes and then you put this into your hand drill now what I've done I've used a bit of silicone oil just for lubrication put it into your drill and you start drilling it actually drills quite easily and let me show you how I do that That's the pilot hole drill. Let's do just another one. Nice in the center. Take the prepared straw, which is now your hold saw. Take a bit of silicone oil, put it on the inside and just in your pilot hole. And then you start drilling. Okay, that's made a start and just keep lubricating. And just keep cutting until it's long enough. Your brass tube plus an extra bit for your handle. After the cutting, this is what it looks like. All you need to do now is give it a bit of a hand grip on that side, finish it off, do the sanding, cut it to length and then that's one done. You use exactly the same method for the other one. You need two thicknesses. One is for your brass tube which is a, a fairly tight fit. And the other one, the other size, is actually the brass tube size. Maybe a bit smaller to allow for the glue. And that glue stick is for your blank. Once you've cut them to length, sanded them, and put a bit of a hand grip or finger grip on it, they're actually ready for use. So, let's put it to the test and see how it glues. Let me just clean up the workbench, get everything ready for gluing. Now what I use for gluing, my gluing board, epoxy glue, and this takes me a far way for gluing. Okay. And then the newly designed and made glue sticks. The pen blank, a little mixing cardboard, pen tube posi positioning tool, it's tapered for any size, a little mixing stick, ice cream stick, and then very important the two gloves, and a little bit of all-purpose thinners and a cloth for when you're done. I'm going to get you in closer so you can see exactly how I do it. Make sure you mix enough for the amount of pen blanks you're going to glue. There's a few. You might even have to do it in stages. Okay, let's get out the glue. Now, what I like about these, it pushes out even amounts from the glue and the hardener. For this demonstration, this is all you need. Okay, let's mix it and keep an eye on the time. You only have a certain amount of time to work with this glue, it dries very quickly. You take a bit of glue, put it on the outside of the tube. Okay. 
and take a bit of blue and put it at the entrance of your pen blank. There you go. And now the first step in using this glue stick is to get the glue right in. Move it around a bit. You can actually feel when there's enough glue in the blank. Okay, and then the next move, you use stick number two and push it in. You can feel when there's enough glue in it. Go past so that it sticks out on the other side. The waste of the glue does not go in to the tube. Take a long nose pliers and just hold on to it until it's loose. And there you go. You can use one of these to, to space them. You don't have to use this anymore. Less cleaning to do. And there it is, it's glued. Minimal wastage. That will be ready in an hour to turn, but I normally leave them until the next day. You want the glue to be a hundred percent set. And all you need to do now is a bit of cleaning. All done. The brass tube is inserted and glued. Minimal cleaning. And this is reusable. So you can glue thousands of pens with this. Now, now this is the first time I've used these. I actually made them this morning. Thought of the idea yesterday. And I'm very excited of how quickly it worked. And I reckon this is going to save me glue and make life a lot easier. Now to the usual admin. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or any comments, let me have them in the comment section below. The questions I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hit the notification bell for more videos like this. And please subscribe. Until the next time, happy gluing, happy casting, and happy pen turning. Laka laka.